too many games. Now we gotta play them all. So what about the sand train? Choo -choo -choo. Welcome back. Hi. Sacred Spirit. Remember these titties? Remember these titties? <laughs> Not a lot has changed since last time. Yeah. yeah. This is the most visually interesting episode of Steam Train that has ever been. I'm fucking... I'm at least half-mast. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, yeah. Half-mast? Yeah. I... Oh, dude... What? You can sail with half-mast. Well, <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm I know. Like quarter -chub. <laughs> I'm a quarter-chub. Quarter-chub. Yeah. I'm reaching half-chub. 25% chibs. I'm a little yeah. floppy jalopy right now. I could use a hand. Ross, you, well, who's hand? why do you wait till the episode start to eat another fruit roll-up? It's so loud. And crinkle it and right crinkle, underneath the like mic. You are inches away. Alright, it's fine. Let's let's just keep rolling. Alright. Uh, that's... Oh, you already said this, so yes. let's keep it again. Mm. No! They just look a lot like your other clothes. Then again, what do I know? There's not a lot of options when it comes to clothes here. In the cities, maybe. But here you find something you look good in, and you stick to it. Some folks don't even have spare clothes, so I'm pretty lucky. It's also easier to you reuse the same picture when you talk and change your clothes. That does right. make it easier. My <laughs> guess it would be for a trailer. Taylor. Taylor. Taylor to yeah. find work in a small village like this. I'm guessing fabric isn't easy to come by either. Are they explaining the fact that they just don't change clothes? <laughs> yeah. This shit? yeah. Like, why do they have to fuck? It's one line. Yeah. Like, oh, we like clothes. Y yeah, that's really it. Yeah, it's never been easy, but these days it's almost impossible to convince people to come here with the spirits around. People used to pay a visit to the shrine, but lately they haven't been coming. I have an idea on how to get people to come here. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. I don't think many would be willing to risk their lives peddling goods to some village, knowing wild spirits might attack. Yeah. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna need some help here, Takahiro Kun. Are you done yet? <laughs> My huge floppy babies are everywhere. Ha! <laughs> 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 ah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> yep, I just finished. <laughs> what do you need help with? My wrap came oh, loose. No. Can you pull it back and tighten it for me? I've never been able to get it right on my own. As she said that, she pulled her top up, presenting her back to me. Y you want me to do it? No, I want the fucking yeah. fly on the wall to do You're it. You're the other Takahiro Kun in this room. Feeling slightly embarrassed at the thought, I tried my best to keep my thoughts pure as I took hold of the end of the wraps and helped pull them back, tying them into place. I quickly made sure they were neither too tight nor too loose. Wouldn't want the fucking bears to come back and be like, <laughs> oh, it's too tight. Come on, be a man. Just pull it tight and tie it. Oh my god. Jeez. A little surprise at her reaction. I decided to do as she said and pulled it even tighter than I had previously, securing it with a sigh. That I, yeah, it's probably yeah. better to secure it with a ribbon or Yeah, yeah, or a, a pin. Zipper. Safety pin. Mm. You can't just be like, ah, and then it goes flying off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is this isn't good for my heart. There. That wasn't so hard. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> come on. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's okay. Move on. okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come on, yeah. let's hurry. Oh, you look good. Like a handsome young businessman. Oh, it's getting a little weird in here. And right? I'm a naughty cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> I look more like a monk than a businessman. <laughs> Shh. Look like a businessman. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. You're a high powered businessman business and you're gonna fucking. You're gonna go over those books. Yeah, you're gonna fire me. You're gonna fire me. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna fire all over me. Cut the books. Smiling. Oh, that's you. Smiling weekly, I quickly followed after Narumi, who was already in a hurry to leave the house. Finally. Uh, I'll miss that screenshot. Mm -hmm. We dashed across the village to the elder's house, Narumi grabbing a weapon along the way. When we got there, we heard. Sh what weapon was it? Was yeah, it a gun know. or. What are you talking about? Sort of. Magic band that shoots fireballs. I could get down with that. When we got there, we heard shouting and exchanged worried glances before pushing through the door. Halt, villain! Ah, oh my. Prepare your oh. Um, did we cross into a different dimension? <gasps> Yay! Oh, Russ's voice is damn now. It, damn it. Ah, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! That's not one word. There's what? two P's and it, whatever. Oh my god, I get two voices now? Yep. I'm gonna sit Dan, back. come closer, come no, closer! Sit back. Never, I'm going to the mic you! I don't want to be as close to the mic as that. Sorry. Yeah, definitely not. The scene that lay before us was unlike anything I had ever seen. In one corner, Maiko was cuddling a large empty bottle, sleeping and giggling to herself. 
At the back of the room, the village elder was hitting a large casket with a lock on it while grumbling to himself while his crotch was not exposed by a table. It was just blocking everything below his hips. And he seemed like he was polishing some gemstones or something, <laughs> but I couldn't tell. In the center of the room, Machiko lay pinned to the floor by Mio, who was tickling her mercilessly. Uh... Oh boy. Did we walk oh. into something? Ah, I'm here too! <laughs> Narchin! Narchin, help me with this! The chest is locked and all the sake is trapped inside. It's suffocating! We need to rescue it immediately. He's drunk. Oh jeez, they're drunk. Thanks, Ross, for fucking stealing my thunder. Yeah, you, Ta you fucking spoiler alert. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Takahiro Kun, can you stop those two? This wasn't the battle I was expecting, unless it's the battle of the bulge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't get it. Ex explain it. To me. No, that's a, that's all right. I nodded my head in confirmation to Narumi's request, and I turned towards the two girls on the floor, trying to decide how best to deal with them. Could could try jumping right in. Or? <laughs> Could could try just watching, or with both of them drunk, it would probably have been easy enough to get Mio to release Machiko. But before I had a chance to intervene, the two girls rough out of the floor. Oh shit! <clears throat> they, they did a thing. Uh, I'm all wet now. You spilled the sake. Wow, stupid. Was that that's was that you? No, oh, they have similar weird. colored. Oh, yeah. Thanks. The girl pushed herself upright, flailing like a spoiled child, before turning tail and running through the door. She literally has a tail. Oh, so she does. Yeah, 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 that yeah, makes absolutely. sense. Okay. Yeah. Good grief! Who knows what she might do? Naruchan, please go get her. In this state, she'd only make stupid advances at me. Right. As Narumi ran off to retrieve the drunken fox, drunken fox girl, I was left to take care of the remaining few. Oh no. He left a bad one. <laughs> uh, Mio-san, you need to come with me. We need to get you into something clean. <laughs> you just so see me naked. I mean, Don't yes. Me. Don't look at me while you do it. What? What? No! I'm not a pervert. Why does everyone seem to think that? Huh? <sighs> I mean, I do want to see those boobies, <laughs> but I have my honor. Damn it! <laughs> no, you can't see my boobies. I'm not. I sighed and looked down at the woman who was indeed trying to swim in the tiny puddle of sake on the floor. What the fuck? All right. Taking a deep breath, I prepared myself. <sighs> Tundere chief! Enemies have been sighted near this hot springs. Their numbers are about to overwhelm us. We need enforcements right away. I came up with the bluff on the spot, hoping it would get Mio out of the room. Why am I getting me out of the room? Everybody just looked at me like an I'm just gonna see boobies anyway. Yeah. But we aren't supposed to defend. Before I had time to finish my sentence, Mio had me dragged to the entrance of the building by the collar of my robe. No! Attack, attack! Get to the hot springs and attack! I'll be there soon! Okay, and with that, she shoved me through the door with a hefty kick, the door slamming shut behind me. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Am I gonna see her boob balloons yeah, in the water? Yeah, I see my boob <laughs> balloons if you ask not say what I do. Show my hearing my wasn't perfect, but I would have swore. What did you just say? Yes, I do my ribbon and show you my peppers. But I could have sworn I heard a yelp and a tumble following Mio's departure. A large open area lay in front of me with a giant sign that said, Welcome Naked Girls. There was also a small area off to the side with a more delicate washing. Mm -hmm. Sighing to myself, I began to tidy up the place a little, removing sharp objects and small obstacles that the drunken woman might injure herself with, and waited. Five minutes went by before I heard the door open and close, followed by the gentle slash of somebody stepping into the water of the hot spring. It's oh. me, Grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Cannonball! <laughs> ah, the water's great. Hurry up and get in! Well, what happened to Attack Attack? I turned around, expecting her to be standing in the water with her clothes on, but she wasn't. Oh. I can't believe it! One moment, one moment. What? Alright, okay, next I'm time good. on Steam Train. Real good, Ross. Very nice. 
Yeah. Next time. Not weird note to end it. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm very comfortable note. sitting here <laughs> close to my two so male bad. friends <laughs> on the couch looking at naked women. What are your boners like now, guys? Are you the half mask? I'm at like a three quarter. Three quarter chop? <laughs> three quarter chop? Hmm. I could go from six to twelve. Hmm. <laughs>